Hi everyone, let's talk about the Feeble Files. When I first started playing this game for the, the first time for this Let's Play, I gave it the benefit of the doubt. I thought it could be a fun space adventure, I thought it might probably be badly designed, but that could also be a source of entertainment. And I gave it credit for perhaps having some intentions as it started out, but I, it's apparent to me now that it's just a completely careless work of art. It doesn't it doesn't really care what it's saying or how it says it, uh, and it certainly doesn't care about giving the player a good time uh, in terms of game design. So the gameplay problems are manageable because uh, they're not fun for me to play, um, or the hours I spend mixing cocktails and playing on an arcade machine because it was required. I wasn't having a good time, but I knew that through the process of editing, I could make something reasonably entertaining, and that would kind of be my my reward: is the satisfaction of making something interesting out of something boring and repetitive. That's doable. I can handle that in a game. But when it's just completely careless about how it handles depictions of totalitarian regimes uh, and the murder therein, and how it handles gender and then just being outright racist uh, apropos of nothing it's really hard to bear I've considered whether to carry on playing the game and I I think I'm probably quite near the end of it if the storyline follows through then it's probably another s chain of puzzles to solve in this location and we're probably back to the prison for some kind of final confrontation that's that's what i assume to happen so i'm gonna gonna try to follow through on it i'm gonna get rid of any racism whenever i see it because i we don't need it nobody needs that and try and call out the the rest of the nonsense as and when it occurs but yeah i'm you know thoroughly thoroughly having a bad time at this point and um yeah if i mean it's entirely possible that something could happen that would just just tip the balance, and I I would just stop the stop the series at that point because um, if the game is being horrible and I'm having a horrible time, and you'd be having a horrible time watching it, then then there is there is zero point. So I'm going to persevere for now, and we'll kind of see see how the rest of it plays. Yeah. So for our first action. Uh, in this episode, let's go have a look at the, the junk ship because that looks like a, a possible way to get out of here. I forgot how much I like that effect of like a stop frame animation. So, the, the car. So, when it says junk ship, oh, because the whole thing is a ship, is that right? It could be right. And there's the. So I couldn't get in the door before, and there was. Oh, was this trunk here before? I don't recall a trunk here before. Let's look at this. It's closed. There's some stuff in here. Great. Has it gone in your inventory? Oh, it has. What's this? Space it's a hopper. yellow space hopper. A, a bicycle. regular bicycle pump. Well, that looks like a straightforward combined puzzle, doesn't I'll it? I'll just test whether the pump works first. We need a cutscene for this. Whoops. Oh, I've broken it. Well... What was all that all about? Metal bar. Tube metal bar. I see no way of getting any sort of result out of that. Well, you've given up. Okay, so inflating the space offer is not. So I've got a metal bar, a tube, and a valve now. So I've got component parts. Uh, f for, for what end, I do not know. And a deflated space offer. Great. Let's see if we can use the car. 
If I could get this thing moving, then I'd really be rebelling in style. Okay, so that's that's the hint, isn't it? It might work. Now, if I could only get enough power to break free of the magnet. We could turn the magnet off. What do you say to that? It must lead inside the junk ship. Oh, it's locked. All right, anything else to interact with? I think that's it. Okay, well there's some hints. Let's get back on the bike and try somewhere else. Okay, my former workplace still in disrepair. Let's have a look at the cars. Excuse me, a citizen, but I must inform you that this is a restricted area. Restricted? But I live... Uh, th th that is, I uh, I li um. Yes, citizen. I li love the Omnibrain, citizen. Of course you do, citizen. We all love the Omnibrain. Yes. Uh, right. I was just wondering, citizen, why is this area restricted? Been great talking to you, citizen. Good cycle. Are you getting anywhere with finding him? Oh, that's a bit of a tip off, isn't it? I was just wondering, citizen, why is this area restricted? That information is unavailable at this time, citizen. Oh, um, okay then. I will say one thing though. Oh. We are looking for someone who lives here. Who? His name is. Feeble. Did um, he used to live here or something? Hey. Uh, feeble. Who's that then? You just said you were looking for him. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You calling me a liar? Uh, no. Good. I'll just be off now, actually. Between you and me, though, we are looking for Feeble. But you didn't hear it from me, understand? That's restricted information. Oh. I'm under orders to capture him on sight, you know. Really? What for? Oh, that's classified information, citizen. But they do say that this feeble escape from Cygnus Alpha and now leads a horde of rebels who even now are preparing to overthrow the Omnibrain and destroy company life as we know it. What a villainous traitor. I shall keep an eye out for him. Uh, it could be dangerous, citizen, yeah, if you see him. Give me a call, and uh, I'll get over there and apprehend them, all right? Isn't there a reward or something? Is there? I hadn't noticed in all my excitement to please the Omnibrain. 20,000 credits, I heard. Really? Well, I never knew that. It just goes to show how the Omnibrain rewards his faithful citizens. Anyway, citizen. I've wasted too much time chatting. What if Feeble should sneak up on me when I was talking to you, eh? What if, indeed, citizen? A company goon looking for me. Oh, hello, tiny Feeble. Uh... Oh, that was the... Uh... What's this? Bounty Hunter's card. The Bounty Hunter's card has a vid phone number on it. Okay. So I can call a bounty hunter now, if I should want to. That exchange was far too long, wasn't it? Okay, so there, we've been to Junction, we've been back to the offices where we worked. There's a new location, a broken down biker. Should we go there? Okay, let's try it. Miracle Mart. Excuse me. 
me, citizen. Greetings, citizen. I was wondering if you need any help, citizen. Well, er, uh, yes. I, uh, my bike is, er, uh, uh, can you tow me to the space bar? My communicator isn't working and I need to call the SVA. Sure, only I haven't got a tow cable. Don't worry about it. I have one in my saddle box. All Miracle Group employees carry one. It's magnetic. Here. Okay. Okay. I don't like it when people's doing a voice. That okay for you? Many thanks, citizen, uh... Feeble. Feeble. Like that rebel that escaped from Cygnus Alpha? Uh, yes, yes, it's a... It's short, it's short for uh, Feeble Etta. Well, citizen, or, uh, Feeble Etta, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Citizen Sun 2 of the Miracle Group. My card. Miracle Group. Miracle Mud Division Licensed Vendor. At least the alarm still works. What's this Miracle Mud stuff then? What's this Miracle Mud stuff then? You mean you've never heard of it? Should I have done? How does it feel to be unique, friend? You'd have to have been in Cygnus Alpha for at least 30 cycles not to have heard of Miracle Mud. I, uh, don't really get out much. But our mass advertising campaign? Miracle Group has acquired every advertising board from here to the 12th sector to promote this product. I, uh... Well, the advertising department obviously hasn't been doing its job. I said give me 100%. They said 90. I said 100 or nothing. We settled on 99.7. I think I'm your point three. I'm so glad I ran into you, Citizen Feebleetta. I mean, we should thank the Omnibrain for that because you could have missed out on the number one product of this generation. What does this Miracle Mud stuff do exactly? What does this Miracle Mud stuff do exactly? What does it do? You're asking me the wrong question, citizen. You should be asking me what it doesn't do. It'd save a lot of time. Why do I get the feeling you've been rehearsing this bit? This is Miracle Mud we're talking about. Just read the label. Use Miracle Mud for, uh... I can't read it. The writing's too small. We had to make it small to fit it all on the label. How convenient. You can have that jar for free, seeing as you helped me out and everything. How considerate, citizen. I'd better go and call the Space Vehicles Association. I've got my quota to think of. Thanks again, citizen. Okay, so that person's going to occupy the phone booth for now. I've got my bike, I've got the salesman's bike, which is broken. I've got Miracle There's Mud. There's no beginning to its uses. Okay. Um, did he give me his cart as well? It doesn't look like it. Um, I think everything else has already been accounted for. Can I look at the label closely with... The zoom lens of my camera. Even using my new rebel training, I fail to see how that's possible. Okay, I can't do that. Um, can I get the chain? Can I use the chain to pull the luxury car out of the junk heap? Oh, Q long cut team. Sorry about that. It's a bit quirky. And the subtitle said dodgy. Um, alrighty, so that was just me looking at it. It set it off. Um, Alright, I don't know what else to do there for now. Let's go in the bar. Oh. I don't want a chance being recognised. I'm surprised no one's seen through this excuse for a disguise already. Oh. That's 
uh, not very sophisticated way of just saying you don't need to go in here. So let's let's go somewhere else. Right, done that, done that. Uh, been there. I think there's only the Omni Club left, which is somewhere we couldn't do anything last time. Um, let's hope that's different on this occasion. Well, the posters have all been torn down, I think, since last time. Q here. Sign. The Omni Club. Wow. This place is really exclusive. They're chained up. No. That does seem pretty much the same as last time. Locked. Okay, so... If that's the status quo... Quickly head back here. Let's see if I can do anything to make a change here. So maybe I can miracle mud something. But there's no point. Well, yeah, that's. That's life in this game, people, but we're both here. But there's no point. There really is no point, is there? I, d I definitely don't have that magnetic chain, do I? Can I make a blowpipe with drawing pins and a tube. But there's no point. No, I can't. What, what is the point? Yeah, I agree. What is the point, people, at this, at this juncture? Well, I think the only thing left to do is go back to the Metro Prime phone booth and call a bounty hunter. Okay. I've got a terrible memory for phone numbers. Well, great job, we've got one written down. Hello? Hello. Uh, I have some information about the guy you're looking for. Oh, yes. I haven't found him yet. Then what are you doing wasting my time, citizen? Good cycle. Interesting. So that... oh. So he just went to the guard who was standing outside the place. Well, what... what use is that? Tune in next time to see if we work it out. Thanks for joining me and take care. Bye-bye. Citizens of Metro Prime, this is the Omnibrain speaking, just to let you know that I'm watching.